Crimean Tatar leaders are speaking out against Russia's occupation of their homeland at the Second World Congress of Crimean Tatars, currently taking place in Ankara, home to the largest Crimean Tatar diaspora. Rifat Chubarov, the leader of the Crimean Tatars Assembly, said there would be no solution as long as Crimea was under Russian control. If we are to achieve world peace and peace among the people of Crimea, the invasion of our land should stop. Crimean Tatar leader and Ukrainian presidential envoy for Crimean Tatar People's Affairs, Mustafa Jimilov, said that since the beginning of the Russian annexation of Crimea, at least 10,000 Crimean Tatars have fled Crimea. As many as 15,000 Tatars are thought to have fled the occupied peninsula over the last 18 months. Tough discrimination and lawlessness against Crimean Tatars, especially the kidnapping and murder of young people, forced recruitment of young people into the army with a view to sending them to war with their brothers, the Ukrainians, the complete absence of democratic freedoms and the lack of any prospects for young people in occupied Crimea are forcing many to leave their homeland again and move to the Ukrainian mainland. Tatars, an indigenous population of Turkic origin, were deported from Crimea to Central Asia in 1944 under Soviet leader Joseph Stalin, who wanted to punish the community for cases of collaboration with Nazi Germany. They began returning from exile some two decades ago and pledged their loyalty to Ukraine, which gained independence after the 1991 collapse of the Soviet Union. Crimean Tatars have seen a cultural revival in recent years, and most are now strongly opposed to falling once again under Russian control.